Hey guys, how are you doing today? I wanted to take a minute to talk about Ford's dual clutch DPS6 transmission. The power shift, if you would call it. If you look here, I've got a Fiesta and a blue Focus down in there. Little introduction here, if you're not familiar with my channel, I'm a Ford Tech, um, 11 years of experience. I've been wrenching for 20 years. Been doing transmission work at, at the Ford dealer for about 10. And as far as the uh, power shift transmission goes, it gets a lot of hate. But let me explain to you why I think it's actually a great transmission. Okay, just real quick, an overview of what I'm going to talk about here. If you have Ford's redesigned TCM in the car, and you have a fresh uh, luck rep set, which is the clutch and the forks and the slave cylinder, then you can feel safe to drive the car anywhere in the world that you want to without a breakdown. Because there's nothing in this transmission that's really just going to randomly go poof and die. The TCM has been reworked and fixed. That does not fail anymore. The clutches, as far as the luck rep set goes, that, that's... Real quick, that's OEM parts for a discounted price there, but the clutch and forks aren't just going to magically fail one day. Um, it's going to take about eighty to 120,000 miles for uh, the clutch or the forks to wear out. So you can plan on doing that in approximately that range there. However, in the meantime, nothing's going to go poof and just die on this thing. It's very, it's exceptionally rare for that to happen. And that is what I really like about these. They are very reliable, in a way. <laughs> you are gonna have to get used to shutter. After about 20,000 miles, a new clutch will begin to shutter a little bit from acceleration, from a stop. But if you drive the car hard once in a while, you will mitigate or lessen the shutter. And it'll get down to a point where it's really not that big of a deal. Just a little bit of jerkiness from a stop. It's not gonna leave you stranded or anything. And it'll get better if the harder you drive it. You know, like if you're going on an on-ramp to an interstate or something, just, you know, give it full throttle or close to it and uh, get it in the high RPMs once in a while. And that will sort of scrub the clutch and even it out so it's a little bit smoother there. I mean, other than that, just change your transmission fluid every 30,000 miles to keep it fresh and clean. That'll extend the life of the synchronizers in the transmission. That's the only real, other real thing I see on these, on higher mileage um, Focuses and Fiestas. Uh, nobody ever changes the fluid in them, and uh, that can cause excessive wear to the synchronizer teeth. When you go to Ford, when you in the past when you went to Ford to get the clutch done, they do not service the fluid. Ford's bulletin has you put plugs in the axle holes so you don't have to drain the transmission fluid out. So if you change the fluid regularly, it's going to very much mitigate the odds of synchronizer wear. And the grounding issue hasn't really been a problem in years. When these transmissions were kind of fresh into the market, they were uh, we were finding paint in the threads for the uh, ground bolts and cleaning those out to rectify that issue. Of course, if you look at the grounds and it's uh, dirty, it's going to affect it a little bit. But uh, I do have a video on how to do that. I've got videos for about anything you want to do on these transmissions or just focuses in general. And uh, Fiesta's now too. I've got a lot of videos on that. So uh, please subscribe to my channel if you are interested in uh, fixing your car and learning about it a little more. And the Focus in particular, all, all these Focuses with the dual clutch, other than a transmission um, occasional headaches, you're really not going to have any major issues. It's an outstanding, reliable engine. It is cold out here today. <laughs> and I've got videos to fix any minor issues that might come up on your Focus there. That is too dark to see. I apologize. But yeah, a lot of other transmissions in the world, even if they're considered reliable, um, when you've got a hydraulic automatic transmission, which is a conventional transmission that uses transmission fluid, there are so many parts inside of that transmission, it can definitely be unpredictable whether or not something's going to fail randomly at any given time. But the dual clutch power shift transmission is so simple that if you take care of the common issues, it's going to be solid, reliable, until, you know, about every 100,000 miles, like I previously mentioned. The only thing inside of the transmission case, I'm not counting the clutch, that's on the outside, it's in the clutch housing, but inside the transmission case on the power shift is nothing but a couple of gears, a couple of shafts with gears on them and some bearings. The fluid in there, the only purpose is to cool and lubricate the bearings and synchronizers. And it's not in there to apply clutches or anything like that. So it's, it's such a simple transmission. Once again, nothing's going to poof and fail one day. If anything, inside the transmission, as far as the gears and bearings, 
um, start to have an issue, you're going to know long before it becomes a real problem. You'll hear noises or, or something like that. And once again, it's exceptionally rare on these. Although as they get high miles on them and people have never serviced them, um, once again, it's cold out here. <laughs> um, that's when you start seeing issues, just service the fluid regularly. Also, a lot of the bearings in the dual clutch DPS6 power shift tr transmission are sealed bearings. They do not require the fluid in there. I mean, the bearings on the uh, shafts themselves with the gears um, and synchronizers, they do require... Oh, how did we get in here? They do require the oil to uh, cool them and keep them lubricated. But once again, the, there's three sealed bearings on the end of the output shafts and the input shaft bearing. Those are all sealed bearings. And it's just, you know, once again, it's there's not much that... Uh, can go wrong in that transmission and it's rare. So in conclusion here, just drive the car hard once in a while to mitigate the shutter. Hopefully you've got the redesigned Ford TCM. You can get them for free at the moment until 2025 if they fail. They have to fail in order to get the free TCM. So sorry about that. <laughs> Not my decision. Then after that, you should be good to go. Just do the clutch and forks every 100,000 miles is, you know, whenever you have an issue out of them, and you'll know when you do. And I've got videos on how to pull the transmission out at home and do the clutch and fork replacement with no special tools. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to conclude the video here. Thank you very much. Have a great day.